So to start the machine, I've done all these checks. So these checks are written up here for you as a ready reckoner to ensure that all of this is appropriate to start the machine. It'll also have a service date compliance, which is completed when they service the machine. So you need to check that periodically to make sure that you are in accordance with the due date or compliant with the requirement as far as maintenance is concerned. It's important you understand all of these fundamentals before you push the start button. Most of these machines now will have an emergency stop. So the emergency stop consists of the switch being depressed which isolates everything on the machine. When I say everything, it's the electrical system so you can't start anything. So make sure that that is clicked back out again because it doesn't matter how much you press these items here to start the machine, if that is depressed, nothing will actuate. So with the emergency stop released, I can now start the machine. So is it level? Yes. Are the valves off? Yes. Is the park brake engaged? Yes. Have I checked all the fluids? Yes. Everything looks good to go. So now, in accordance with the start-stop procedure, I can go from stop to on, over to start with a warm-up control and push the start button. The red light comes in, I've got 30 seconds to do that. The machine started immediately. So now it's in warm-up procedure. I'll leave it to 30 seconds to warm up. The computer's now telling me how many revs it's doing with the 1600, very good to start up with. So the valves still remain shut. I can't do anything until I've let it have its warm-up procedure, which is 30 seconds. So be patient and let the machine warm up. Premature pressure or pressure requirement on the machine is too much of a shock for the system. So just waiting that period of time, watching your air pressure coming up, watching compression temperature won't move for a while, of course, because we haven't been operating long enough. So now you notice I've got all the hatches shut. Everything's been engaged as far as the air brake's concerned. The machine is level. Now I've waited the appropriate time. I can go across from start to run. Now what's happened now is it's come up to 120 PSI. And now it's, I've got volumetric air being created because the pump, the compressor itself is pumping adequate air to facilitate what I draw off here now. So now I'm in this, this particular setting, I'm making air, now I need high pressure air, so now you'll hear it chase it again, which brings it up to 140 psi, there you are, it's just chased itself. With these valves off, I can appropriate the hoses with large radiuses for the bull hose, with safety clips and whip checks, any accessorising air we I need, I can run these off these small A type couplings with pins, with whip checks. So whip checks, pins, whip checks, pins for all of those particular items. So remember, this is a 400 CFM compressor. The fundamentals remain the same for a smaller compressor or a larger compressor. Check your fluids, check your oils, battery, so forth, and all of this appropriate safety equipment, even a fire extinguisher. If you have all of those fundamentals in place, you should have safe, happy operation. Thanks very much for watching.